Hello, this is Mark Vent with a company called Sikich, and today we're taking a quick look at working with Word in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operations. One of the challenges that users and companies have faced with enterprise software systems includes proprietary report writers that can be difficult to learn and use. Let me show you an example of working in Dynamics 365 for operations and utilizing Office 365, Word in particular, as a report writer. From my home page in Dynamics 365 for Operations, I'm going to navigate to my sales orders uh, through my sales order processing workspace. Let's look at an unconfirmed sales order in this case. And let's open that order. Here is my sales order. It has two lines on it. I would like to generate a confirmation or a report on this sales order. And to do that, I'm going to use my Open in Microsoft Office icon in the top right corner and export this to Word using a template. I'm going to go ahead and download that template. I don't have to save this anywhere in particular, so I'm just going to open it to illustrate what that report looks like. And it is that easy. I have created a template using Office 365 Word, and I have the ability to use that as a report writer tool when I'm working within Dynamic 365 for operations. Let's walk through the steps to prepare, set up, and create these templates for use within Dynamics 365 for operations. We're going to go through three steps. First, we're going to download the add-in or the catalog to Office 365 Word. We're going to generate a Word template. And finally, we're going to upload that template to Dynamics 365 for operations to make it available to the user through their open in Office icon. From Office 365 Word, I'm going to load the add-in or the catalog by going to the insert menu, my add-ins. I'm going to go to the store and let's do a search here for anything that has the word dynamics in it. And I will find this Microsoft Office add-in I then click Add, and that loads that add-in into uh, my Word application. The other method is to go back to My Add-ins, Manage Other Add-ins, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Trusted Add-in Catalogs, and here under Catalog URL you would input your Dynamics 365 for Operations URL, including the protocol and host name, everything up through dynamics.com and then click add. Now I'm ready to begin working with my template I'm going to go open that uh, from my local folders. Now that I have my template open I can open my add-in and I'm going to log in using my credentials. Now that my add-in is open I'm going to go to the design tab and here I have the ability to add both tables and fields to my template. In this case a table would be a structured table such as you see below here for my line detail for my sales order where column headings are inserted automatically uh, using the names of the fields and then the field details added below that. Uh, so I have two tables in this template, one from the sales order header and one showing the sales line details. Adding fields would look more like the information here at the top of my template where I've pulled in the sales order name and the customer address information. To illustrate what building this template looks like, I'm going to add a field um, in between my header and my line details. So I'm just going to hit uh, enter to add some space there. Let's go to our sales order header, click on the edit icon to add another field, and I'm going to select my customer requisition number. I can add to the template both a label and a value. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a label first that shows the customer requisition number. Then I'm going to add a little bit of space there and click on add value, and that inserts the customer requisition number ID into my template. Once we've designed the template as we want it, we're going to save it into a local folder and upload that into Dynamics 365 for operations. The final step in our process is to load that template into Dynamics 365 for operations. We do that through the common menu 
under Office Integration, Document Templates, and now I would click on New, Browse to my template on my local folders, select it, and upload it into my list of document templates here. Uh, it'll appear at the bottom of the list, and as you can see, there are some options here that could allow you to restrict the use of that template to specific countries, languages, or business entities, as may be required. Now that template would be visible to the users through the Open in Office icon in Dynamics 365 for Operations. As I mentioned earlier, I work for a company called Sikich, which is headquartered in Chicago with more than 20 offices nationwide. Sikich is a technology and accounting firm, but most important, it is in the top 1% of all technology solution partners in the world, a member of Microsoft Dynamics Inner Circle and Presidents Club, and a top accounting firm. If you have any questions about this process today, please feel free to send an email to mark.vent at sikich.com and have a great day.